Now, the will and the word of God is so important because there's so many benefits that come in the will and the word of God. Well, let me just tell you a few. We've got peace. We've got love. We've got joy. We've got happiness. We've got gentleness. We've got meekness. We've got long suffering or patience. We all of these attributes or the Bible calls fruits of the spirit are able to be obtained in the will of God. By establishing and understanding what it is that he wants to do in our lives. This is way bigger than just a religion that we just simply obtain and uh, to uh, give ourselves a name that we call ourselves. This is truly about a lifestyle and a way of living that promotes all the things that we want. How many people don't want joy or happiness or peace or patience or, um, you know, all those gentleness or meekness or kindness? How many don't want to live in that type of an environment? It's it's so interesting how the world has taken uh, what we believe and they have watered it down to something that we do in order to satisfy uh, maybe some some itch that we have of relation or communion with something that we don't understand. As opposed to understanding that this relationship that we've established through the kingdom of God. Does it? It's not just something that we do because we feel like we need something that's greater than what we're living in now or that we're gullible to some situations that we can't see or feel or believe with our natural senses. But it's truly to establish a lifestyle, a lifestyle that all of us would say that we want and desire more love, more peace, more joy, more gentleness, meekness, goodness, kindness, mercy, patience, all those things that we're saying that we desire, God has already established a path by which we can get there. 